On another rain-affected day, LV County Championship Second Division leaders Derbyshire just moved ahead of their East Midland neighbours Leicestershire at Grace Road. Derbyshire, having bowled their hosts out for 177 on the first day, resumed their first innings on five without loss and looked to Chesney Hughes to keep them ahead of the game. The ball beat the bat on plenty of occasions, but Hughes kept his composure to dominate an opening partnership of 43. His partner, Matt Lineker, was the first to go, rather unlucky to be bowled around his legs by the hitherto luckless Nathan Buck. Lineker was out for nine and was soon joined back in the pavilion by Hughes, who on 28 was legged before to Matthew Hoggard as Leicestershire began the day brightly. But they knew now that they had to break a stand between Wes Durston and Wayne Madsen quickly. Both men have scored plenty of runs of late and Durston in particular looked in the mood for more runs. He loves to hit boundaries and he was given the opportunity to do that as the home attack had the tendency to drop the ball in a little short. Durston is too good a player to miss out on such chances and he was soon racing the score along. When Buck half-tracked again, Durston pulled him for a six as he and Madsen began to put their side well on top. Madsen was less fluent but he played his part in a third wicket partnership of 66 with Durston those runs coming in only 14 overs. Two wickets prior to lunch meant that the morning session belonged to Leicestershire, however. Wayne White removed Madsen for 21, while Durston dragged a long hop from Josh Cobb into the hands of Michael Thornley at mid-wicket to depart for 44. That left Derbyshire on 123 for four, 54 runs behind, but the informed Dan Redfern then joined forces with Ross Whiteley to try to put their side ahead with no further losses. As it was, they reduced the deficit to 27. Whiteley then pulled the ball from Buck back onto his stumps to go for seven and 150 for five to keep Leicestershire very much in this contest, a contest they've been behind in ever since Tony Palladino took a hat-trick early on on the first day. It was Derbyshire who ended this day on top, however, as before the rain brought an early conclusion to proceedings, Redfern and David Wainwright did take their side into the lead with five wickets down. The two left-handers timed the ball well in adding 41 before play was ended before tea. They took Derbyshire onto 191 for five for a lead of 14 runs, a lead they'll be anxious to add to if the weather allows. When play does resume, Redfern is on 40 and Wainwright on 20.